Some multiplication problems are quite straightforward. If you're asked to calculate 7 times 6, or 12 times 7, all of these are parts of the times table that you've hopefully learnt to do in your head. However, what do we do with slightly larger numbers? For example, if I asked you to calculate 542 times 4. For these calculations, you put the larger of the two numbers above the smaller of the two numbers, and then multiply starting with the units, in this case the 2. So 2 times 4 equals 8. We then move on to 4 times 4, which gives us 16. Now rather than just putting the whole 16 in, we just put in the 6 and carry the 1 across to the next column. You may have been taught to put the 1 below the calculation underneath the hundreds column here. It doesn't really matter where you put it, whichever you feel most comfortable with. We then move on to do 5 times 4, which is 20. And we then add the 1 that has been carried across to give us 21. As the 5 is in the last or leftmost column, we therefore don't carry the 2 across, but simply put it in as part of the final answer. So the answer to the calculation 542 times 4 is 2168.